please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I am Vimar Bastessa. We have the honor of another special guest joining us today. I'm Tyler Wesley. And we'll tell you more about how some of our high school students are leading the fight to give students with special needs more accessibility around Geneva. And teachers, stay tuned because it will be your chance to win the GTV lottery. All that and so much more because GTV, GTV News starts right, right now. now. Here are your morning announcements for Thursday, April 28, 2022. May is Mental Health Awareness Month and the SAD Club is partnering up with the Peer Leadership Program and the Counseling Office to bring light to this very important topic. They will be having a Spirit Week next week to kick off the month. Monday will be a Move It Forward Day, so wear college gear, military, or vocational gear. Tuesday is Twin Tuesday, so wear something to show you are not alone. Wednesday is where Green Day uh, because it's the color of mental health awareness. Thursday is tie-dye day to represent a wide range of emotions. They will also be handing out Jolly Ranchers to students leaving the school. And Friday will be Feel Good Friday, so wear comfy clothes. There's a club in Geneva that is trying to help people with special needs. GTV Oliver Reich shares his personal story about what the students are working on and who is expected to help. Fifth grader Frankie Reich has been wheelchair bound ever since he was 18 months old after a life altering event. So, when I was a wee little lad, um, I had a stroke and it put me in this wheelchair. Frankie had what is called a Chiari malformation stroke. His wheelchair is not the only accommodation that he has gotten used to. However, one accommodation that is still difficult is finding accessible restrooms in downtown Geneva. Well, I would say there's very little accessible bathrooms and there's very little accessible anything downtown these days. To change that, Saga has launched an initiative to direct people to accessible bathrooms using new signs. We had to spend a lot of time finding accessible bathrooms, which took Frankie's mom reports similar issues and raises the question of non-Geneva residents being able to find the restroom. But for a, a handicapped person or a wheelchair user who's coming to Geneva for the first time to have um, label, labeled um, bathrooms that they know are accessible is, is really more important. Saga is also helping to make the switch to gender-neutral bathroom signs in accordance with Illinois law. Yeah, in Illinois, um, River Pritzker signed the bill that all single cell bathrooms have to be gender neutral. Organizers say changing signage is a step, or in Frankie's case, a roll in the right direction. There is still a lot more to be done. For GTV, I'm Olivia Reich. Thanks, Olivia. Saga meetings are every Tuesday, so feel free to contact Miss Helpers if you are interested in helping with the cause. There's a brand new club here at Geneva if you are interested in money. The Stock Market Club is having their first meeting tomorrow after school in E171. They will be participating in competitions with cash prizes and talk about the markets. There is an orchestra concert tonight at 7.30 p.m. in the auditorium. They will be playing music from Lebanon and Europe, so be sure to stop by. Lots of wins have been happening in our spring sports here at Geneva. GTV Quinn Kennedy is here to give us all the updates in a brand new special report. Quinn? Hello Geneva and welcome back to Sports Show. Let's dive right in. Girls Soccer had their Tri-Cities night on Tuesday night where they faced off against the Batavia Bulldogs. They fell short losing 3-1. to 
The girls play again tonight at home against Hinsdale Central. On Tuesday night, the tennis team played St. Charles East in a conference match. After two varsity singles players were unable to compete due to sickness, two JV sophomores, Luke Hogan and Liam Anton, stepped up and both won their matches, giving the Vikings the edge to win the meet 4-3. Here are a few words from two varsity captains about the team's success this season. It's been a lot different just because like, we have so many more matches like on the weekends and stuff. Definitely a lot more tournaments on Saturdays. Yeah, we, I think we've got some good chemistry this year with the uh, underclassmen coming out. We've got a, new, a lot of new kids on varsity, so I think it's going to be a good team. The tennis team plays again tonight at home against Batavia. The baseball team finished out their three-game series against the North Stars on Tuesday, losing 10-5. The baseball team takes it across town in their next series against St. Charles East. They start the series away tomorrow at 4.30. On Monday, the boys lacrosse team won 10-8 over Wheaton North. The boys play again this Saturday against Mundelein at home at 11. The girls lacrosse team also plays Mundelein on Saturday, but this time it is in the Naperville Tournament. The boys' volleyball team played on Tuesday night at home against St. Charles East. The boys won that game, improving their record to 7-8. The girls' badminton team had a great tournament over the weekend. Blue was seen all across the scoreboards in a dominant tournament win. That's all the news I have for you today, Geneva. Back to the desk. Thanks, Quinn. Attention, graduating seniors, faculty, and staff. Registration for the July 24th summer skydive trips need to be completed by this upcoming Sunday, May 1st. All the information you need is at letsgoskydiving.org. Or you can email Miss Beverly and she will answer any questions that you have. Remember, this event is open to friends and family as well. We hope to see you there. Now for a look at today's weather, there is going to be high of 55 and a low of 36. Now, and now, there's three to know before we go. The last day to buy prom tickets is this Sunday, May 1st. Caps and gowns must be picked up in the front office. Sign up for Viking Review or outside the auditorium, and auditions will be Monday after school. Attention teachers! In honor of Teachers Appreciation Week coming up, we are giving you guys a chance to enter the GTV lorry and win a Visa gift card. Make sure you are following us on Instagram and YouTube, then go to the link in our Instagram bio and fill out the form to enter. You have until next Wednesday. Good luck. Well, Geneva, that's the new all the news we have for today. My name, I'm Tyler Wesley. And I'm Vinmar Bastasa. Thank you, Tyler, for having us with us today. Have a terrific Thursday, Geneva.